Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Redshift for 3ds Max. It's a massive 13 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Redshift for Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Also be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's quickly create a concrete shader as well, so create a new Redshift material and assign it. For the diffuse color, load this concrete 01D image. We can set the color space to auto as the map will be used for reflection roughness and bump mapping as well. Set this texture as the diffuse color. I'll be using the same map for the reflection roughness as well. So we need to invert it, add a color invert node and use the texture as its input. Now we have an inverted map. Next, add an output map after it in case it's needed. And now connect it to the reflection roughness input. Depending on how much sharp or rough you want the concrete to be, you can simply adjust the map and make it darker for sharper concrete or make it brighter for a rougher concrete. Reflection weight, color and IOR can remain at what they are. Finally, let's add a bump map node. Connect it to the bump map input of the material. Set the bump height scale to 0 0.1. And use our original map as the bump map input. And that's our concrete shader. You can add the second bump map like the previous shaders, but on very rough surfaces like concrete, it won't be that visible. And the same thing is true for the coat component. Let me show you a higher resolution render for this shader as well. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.